She lives in a world where anyone who isn't firmly on her team is out to silence her, to steal elections from her, including, apparently, the Republican-run election board in Arizona. Her race against Katie Hobbs, as we just said, still too close to call, 77% of the vote in. It's about a 13,000-vote margin between the two. Maricopa County has been central to these baseless claims of malfeasance, when yesterday there were dozens of tabulation machines that didn't work properly because ballots were apparently printed too lightly. Republican election officials addressed the issue quickly. They promised that each vote would be counted in a bipartisan hand vote that has delayed the final tally. Now, these sorts of things happen on Election Day. It is never ideal, but there was no evidence of wrongdoing, and they addressed it. By the way, there were issues that Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto in Nevada said has hurt her in her tight race. Both sued to keep the polls open longer, both the Democrat in Nevada and the Republicans in Arizona, and both were denied. But for Carrie Lake, this was an opportunity, an opportunity to suggest some grand conspiracy by the Republican election officials to steal the election from her. Now, my hunch is that if she was ahead by 13,000 votes, she would already be declaring victory, as she did before the final results were in when running in the primary against her Republican challenger, Corinne Taylor Robeson. But you knew that whatever she said last night, it would involve either her winning or the election having been stolen from her. We had a big day today, and don't let those cheaters and crooks think anything different. Don't let them doubt. Don't let them put doubt in you. Of course, she doesn't identify the cheaters and crooks because there's no evidence that they exist. Of course, if she ends up getting the votes, Carrie Lake should be the next governor of Arizona, period. And apparently, she seems to believe she has a very powerful and all-powerful ally on her side. You know, I, I did a lot of praying to God. I've been praying to God every day, all day. And I said to him, you make this victory come whatever way you want. If it comes decisive on election day, then bring it to us that way. If we have to fight through the BS and the garbage, then we will fight through the BS and the garbage. Speaking of BS and the garbage, Lake referenced the examples of election equipment not working as evidence of her getting cheated. They showed up at the polls early this morning only to be told the election equipment didn't work. Two minutes in, two minutes into voting, we had people being told, well, you're going to have to put your little ballot over here into another box. Guys, the fake media back there tried to tell us we were wrong for asking questions about our elections. Guess what? We are going to win this. We are going to win Everyone this. Everyone asks questions about elections. Everyone asked a ton of questions post-2020, and people had a lot of questions about Maricopa County. That's why the Republicans who are in charge there came out and explained what had happened. But she, of course, was the only one with the definitive answers that, of course, she won. Are you willing for incompetency to play itself out and the victory to come at us? I am willing to wait for that. And when we win, and I think it will be within hours, I think it will be within hours, we will declare victory and we will get to work turning this around. No more incompetency and no more corruption in Arizona elections. Okay, again, incompetency maybe. Evidence of corruption? doesn't exist. But it is nice to hear her talk about waiting for results, as every other candidate must do. We will not stop fighting until we have every legal vote counted. So we're going to be patient. We're going to be patient, guys. That's good to hear. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.